Okay. Hi guys, how are you all doing? Welcome to our first episode of our podcast that we're going to be bringing to you every week. Um, uh, our podcast is going to be on YouTube channel and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel which is called Castle Youth Complex, I believe. Is this? I'll, I'll, I can do the social media uh, while, while you're um, thinking. It's just telling me I can't minimise my window. What no, does that no. mean? Oh, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Great start, yeah. No, our social media is uh, Facebook is at Kelly Youth Complex Staff. Twitter is Youth Complex CYC. Instagram is Youth underscore Complex. And uh, TikTok is Kelly Youth Complex. And I believe uh, the YouTube channel is uh, Youth Complex. Youth Complex, Complex. yeah. Perfect. So that's where you'll find our podcasts, uh, which will be a weekly thing. Um, we will record them sometime during the week and then hopefully have them up by a Friday. Um, and we've actually got a name for our podcast, Chris. I don't know if you know about this. Ooh, I don't know anything about this, so uh, I'm going to have to do my surprised, pleased face Aye. if I'm, I don't I'm like it. I'm excited about this. Like I think that. you'll like it. We've got two suggestions on Facebook, and what I've done was I put them on an Instagram poll. Okay. People who viewed the, the story can vote on it. So we were between Cyclone, which was our own old radio station. Okay, yeah, um, I remember it. Cyclone. Um, my mate Chick used to do a show on that. Um, mm -hmm. And the second one was The Milk Round, which is quite clever. I like that. that I think somebody has nicked that, Lee, to be honest. The Milk Round okay. used to be, a, I'm pretty sure it was a local newspaper or newsletter in Casamilk. Right. But I'm talking probably, what age are you, Lee, if you don't I'm, mind me asking? I'm 24, I'm 25. You're 24. Time. You know, we're talking in that shooting match that right. you, you might have just been a glint in your mother's eye at that point when it was out. And I'm just effectively showing how old I am right uh, now. That's what um, you're doing right now, eh? Uh, but so my mum told me about this thing, you know. Uh, no, I, I seem to remember the milk round, but okay. I like it. I don't think it's copyrighted. And if it is, probably check it. This is in our social media, and we'll completely ignore you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, are we put a poll up on that? What do you think won the poll? Are the young people choosing what should be the name? I would have thought it would have been. I, I mean, I've, I think I've put my cards on the table with one that I like. I would have said the milk round. But I am. I'm a big fan of that one. Uh huh. So what was it? So it did sixty percent, forty percent. Um, so that's our, if we're allowed to use it, that's our new title of our podcast. <laughs> I, I don't think, um, I think it's so long in the distance. So I'll definitely need to look, look into that, but I'm pretty yeah, sure it was a, a newsletter. So this is effectively a newsletter, but in a more modern context, maybe. Aye. Yeah. Exactly. So. Um, so if you don't know us, which you probably do, I'm guessing, if you're watching us, uh, I'm Lee, I'm a youth worker and the home link work. Home link worker at Cashmore High School. Um, you'll find me there Monday to Friday. Um, some of you might not see me during the day because I'm in the remove room, which Chris knows as well. Um, but in the afternoon, I'm in the home link and I'm in the Wednesday Dream Team. I'm a session of staff at night in the youth complex. And for those who don't know me, um, Chris, uh, I'm also a youth worker at Cashmore Youth Complex. I sometimes make a visit to the the remove room in school sometimes, just when and as I'm needed. I uh, also run the music group in the youth complex, uh, and we normally do showcases and stuff like that. But uh, obviously, with the, the way things are right now, we've, we're very restricted. But we have yeah. a good, a good weekly group chat online, and we share some wee small performances, Aye. musical performances to keep things going and yep. it is mainly mainly talking kind of music and stuff like that. So which is yeah. a great link actually Chris so thanks very much for going into what our topics will be um over the next few episodes. We'll see where we go. We're looking for suggest suggestions from you guys still as well. But we have come up with a few topics, one of which is music. So hopefully in the future if we can invite young people into these podcasts uh, we'll get some of the music group in. Um, just to hear about what they've been learning, what they've been practicing, and if they've heard any new music. I don't know if there is any new music coming out just now, just because everyone's... Well, funnily you mentioned that. Um, I was going, because uh, one of the sections coming up, I was going to mention music, and I thought, maybe I'm not as a... Let's let, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not as in touch with the current scene. Right. You know <laughs> what I mean? 
Has this year uh, gone back to the mill as, ground again? <laughs> yeah. As, as things go, um, I've actually encountered a bit of new music, and it was only released about three weeks ago. Right. So I would recommend, it's a band from Glasgow, and they're called Walt Disco, and they've got a song out on all the major streaming platforms right now called Cut Your Hair, and it's a wee three-minute uh, one of those songs that you listen to and it'll be in your head for the rest of the day. Right, okay. So check that out. There you go. I'm with it. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm trendy. <laughs> <laughs> well, great youth workers when they don't yeah. listen to them with the kids. <laughs> um, so other, other topics we've got are the P7 programme, which uh, parents the young people who are just finished primary school, going up to high school, can learn about our transitioning programme and what we do um, at the complex and helping at the, the schools in the local community. Uh, we've got education and employment, which uh, Kirsty is going to help us with, I'm sure, uh, because she runs the job club and she works in the DYW department of Castmock High School. We've got sport, uh, social media, relationships and friendships and much more. Um, but if you guys want to suggest a topic, hit us up on any of the social media platforms and we'll get back to you and hopefully be able to make it an episode as well. Um, I think, probably another way to do that, just if you don't have social media, which I'm assuming most of you do, is we've got an, a dedicated email address that we can start kind of monitoring, and it's cycyouthteam at gmail.com, and that might be a good way to kind of get in contact with us yeah. about specific things about the show. Yeah, and they can ask questions and things like that as yeah. well if they want mm-hmm. them answered. Mm-hmm. Um, so today we decided on doing a wee bit of information on what's going on with lockdown, didn't we? Yeah. That was because, our kind of first topic we wanted to go to, give you guys information that we've heard from the government um, and further on from that information that what we are still doing in the community um, for you guys, what we're providing, um, mm. so you know where to get us and things like that. So I think you've got an article, Chris. Oh, so, I- yeah, I, I, I basically picked a Glasgow Live article up because obviously today Nicola Sturgeon announced that it would be a kind of slight easing of lockdown restrictions. And um, it was a, I watched a bit of it today, and it was a fairly long-winded affair. And it was probably aimed mainly at kind of like adults and stuff like that. So I've, I thought this Glasgow Live article summed it up nice and briefly of what is actually allowed now, because I think it's really easy to get confused and what you can and can't do. It's not helping that we're we're doing it differently in every nation. So I think people Mm -hmm. are listening to what's happening from the British Parliament, the UK government, and Mm -hmm. then ignoring what's coming from the Scottish government. Exactly, yeah. Um, So if anything, I would say Scotland is maybe a bit stricter than England right now. So that's maybe where the confusion kind of comes in. But... If you want, I'll, I'll kind of go through it very briefly, This, and I'll, I'll kind of refer to this article. So with regards to meeting up, from tomorrow you can meet up with another household outside, and it has it can be outside in the park or in the garden, but you still have to keep two metres apart, and it's up to a maximum of eight people. So what that kind of means is that it says you can meet with people from another household, but it's only one other household. So... For example, if you wanted to go and meet your uncle and auntie and their kids and they all lived under the same household, that would be fine as long as you're meeting outside and you're maintaining your two metre distance. What's not okay is if you go and meet a group of your eight of your pals who all live in different houses. That's when we start getting into a higher risk territory because yeah. one of them could be easily carrying the virus yeah. and if certainly you might not be showing they might not be showing any symptoms you might not show any symptoms but you can easily pass it on to somebody and it, it could have severe consequences for that person we just don't know yeah exactly and it's it's a good thing that that's happening just now um i think the scottish government have worked hard on trying to keep it as strict as possible without being totalitarian, basically. Um, and saying, look, guys, if we work on this right now, it will benefit us in the future. We'll be able to get out of it quicker. Um, but it does help that that's come along at this time, especially with the weather right now. Uh, <laughs> you want to go out to the park and, and, and meet Absolutely. family and friends. Um, and, and you want to be outside and things like that. So it does help. But just, as Chris was saying, just make sure you are still following the rules. Um, with one other household. 
uh, it talks about public spaces just briefly, and it's like parks, beaches, and and as long as they're a short distance, it says around within five miles from your house. So, for in real terms, that would probably mean from I'm thinking maybe from Castlemilk to the town. Is yeah. that roughly about five miles? About that, yeah. That's, yeah. That's... So, so if you if you draw a circle around that, that's kind of thing. But what they're also saying is, um, if you're going to go to these kind of places, try and pick somewhere you know it's not going to be busy. Now, at the weekend, I was going, I was kind of driving for something else, a bit of shopping. And I thought I'm going to go and have a look at that uh, big um, power turbine up at uh, right, the yeah. base because I'd never seen it up close before, and I thought. That's probably something not many people would think about doing. Mm -hmm. Or was I wrong? <laughs> so I ended up looking and I saw all the cars parked and I forgot that there's actually a cycling track there, the mountain cycling track, which is really popular. Yeah. So they, even I made that mistake going, oh, that probably wouldn't be that busy. So, so they're also telling you to make sure you're making a good, sensible decision on where you're meeting. So yeah. So that's why. It's there is plenty of space around our community as well. Um, we've got lots of parks around us. We've got Lynn Park, Kings Park. Um, you can go up to the Cathkin Braes, like you says. Um, so there is lots of space to be meeting people, and we've got our local parks. Um, um I think play parks are closed right now. I don't think it'll be. They are, yeah. Um, the Castlemore Park, the Woodlands. It's, it's good to go out there and walk through the wood paths and that. Um, mm -hmm. especially when the weather's nice. I mean, that's one of the, probably one of the features of Castle because there's a lot of greenery and a lot of open spaces that yep. you could kind of walk, have a good walk with and stuff like that. Um, the other stuff is just like there's certain shops that are opening, like garden centres, some drive through food outlets. So I don't know if that means that the drive through will open in Castle maybe. That's exciting. It. Perhaps, <laughs> I'm not sure, but it will be drive through only. Uh, for the foreseeable future until further reason um, happens. And that's about it, really. I mean, it's not a great deal, but it's something. Yeah. I suppose, you know. I think I heard that you can play tennis and golf. Yeah, right. golf, uh, hiking, canoeing, if, if you want to go canoeing, outdoor swimming, angling. I would say, I, I would say you could probably go out on a bike. That's not anything yeah. that in, it's just yourself i think that's fine i don't think we've got many places around here but to go swim <laughs> i think you're stuck no. with macri pond or the lind maybe um which may be uh, dangerous as well i don't um, think i'd take my chances with either in that no. situation do you know what i mean yeah. so um, but it's good that you said the drive through is open up because i think a lot of people will be missing the, the mcdonald's um, it sounds like it because when there's a few opened around the UK, there was the queues, the pictures of the queues oh, were outrageous. outrageous, but yeah. some people like their McDonald's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, which kind of leads us into a wee section that you want to start, doesn't it? Um, it does. Right? It does. So these segues, we're, we're working quite well. I know, we're doing this, I was like, pacha, pacha, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so I was thinking today, like, I mean, let's face it, guys, when we're kind of looking at, out there, We've not really got much chat, do you know what I mean? There's not much happening, we've not got much to do, but what are we probably doing a lot of in our houses? Well, we're probably watching a lot of telly, and we're probably eating a lot of food. So I thought that basically we would have a section, and I want to, I want to call it, what's on my telly and what's in my belly? <laughs> I don't, that might be better than milk round. That might be better. I know, I don't know if that's, it's a bit long-winded for the name of our podcast. I think for the name, but I think the section name is, uh, it's just edging milk round for me. For it's, this section, I think the name's brilliant. It's strong. It just came to me in a flash of inspiration before we started. <laughs> so, so what's on my telly and what's in my belly? So I'll start with what's on my telly. So if I was going to recommend a, a TV show, not so much a binge watch because there's only one season of it, but I would thoroughly recommend it if you've not seen it. And it's on Amazon um, video if you have access to that. Um, and it's called The Boys. I don't know if you've seen it, Lee. I haven't, no, I've not even um, it. It's a kind of ironic take on the kind of Marvel, kind of superheroes right, and all okay. that sort of stuff. Um, so the, the superheroes that are in this 
on the, based on Earth and all that sort of stuff. So it's nothing. Um, are like kind of big corporate sponsored superheroes. Okay. And when you actually find out when you find out about what the, these actual superheroes are like, that actually some of them are borderline sociopaths <laughs> and stuff like that. And then um, the name the boys um, is actually referring to the people that are actually going after these superheroes. Okay. Uh, it's it's got a lot of very dark comedy in it. I would say, um, without giving too much of the plot away, it's um, it's, it's funny. Uh, it's got a wee bit of that kind of Marvel superhero thing, but it's probably got an important message about you know how um, like all these real kind of superhero franchises are portrayed and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. I think it's looking at that, but it's based. On, it's already based in a comic book series, right. as most things are these days. And it was one of the best things I've watched in a while. And the reason I mention it is there's only one season, but I think by, by the end of summer, season two will be out as well. Great, great. Um, so that is what is on my telly this That's week. what's on the telly. What's in my belly? <laughs> so this is, I thought I was thinking about, I've made a lot of things, but um, this is something my wife found. She found out how to make flatbreads. Um, right. Just using uh, so the ingredients are it's only three ingredients in it: it's plain flour, natural yogurt, and baking powder. So dead easy, and I could just explain it to you rather than putting a recipe up. If you want a recipe, please message us, and I can put that up. Uh, so it's one, two cups of plain flour, one cup of natural yogurt, two uh, tablespoons of baking powder. Mix it all up into a dough roll it out and dry fry it on a pan and it is the best flatbreads <laughs> you will ever taste. They say to brush it in uh, garlic butter right. and I just use, you know that um, the, the little jars of pre-minced garlic? Yep. Do that, mix it with some butter and brush the flatbreads with that and it's... How long does that take? So to make the dough you're talking 10 minutes and then like if you get if you get a nice big frying pan, you can probably do three or four at a time. Right. We're talking maybe five minutes in total, so two oh, and a half minutes yeah. in each side. The best flatbreads I've ever tasted, and that's so it's in my belly. Aye. <laughs> Quick, easy, cheap, and tasty. Works oh, well. Aye. <laughs> um, should I jump on this? Should I jump on your? Why not? Yeah, because I think that that will be the kind of idea. Is that it's a. A shared experience, okay. let's say, you know. And we could possibly ask guests or yeah. other staff who are joining us. So um, I, yeah. What's so on me, my, what's on your telly? This what's week? on my telly? We'll start with that. So what we've just finished on Netflix is How to Get Away with Murder. Okay. Uh, that's about a, a lawyer who is also a professor at a university. And she is a defence lawyer. So she wants to get people off of their murder charges, but we've watched five seasons now. <laughs> of this. Right. There's, a, there's a sixth season as well, which we okay. don't have access to just now because it's an American show, it's on ABC, so right, okay. we need to wait till it comes out on Netflix. Mm -hmm. um, but it's just easy to watch, but interesting as well. Mm -hmm. um, not saying you're going to become a lawyer because of it, but you learn lots of the ways that lawyers work and what goes on behind the scenes and it's got a bit of police corruption it's got murder it's got um it's got pretty much everything and it, like i said it's an easy watch mm -hmm. i think episodes are about 45 minutes um the problem with it being an easy watch is you watch too much of it yeah <laughs> and yes. you're up until about three two in the morning, morning before you know, before uh, you know <laughs> it, the classic exactly. yeah um but yeah the first five seasons are on um on netflix so i'd recommend that to you how to get away with murder. Um, I will check it out because right. I've, I've actually already started a long-term relationship with something else, but I don't think I'm I would be allowed to recommend it on here. Okay. It's called American Horror Story, and it is love genuinely it. very scary. I love it. And very out there. So I don't know if I would recommend you watching that. Um, my, my show would probably be for... 15 plus, <laughs> so the yeah. young people and maybe S1, S2 that are watching is maybe give it a couple of years before you're watching How to Get Away with Murder. <laughs> um, but I, I second the American Horror Story, that's, that's a great show. Um, 
So the second part of that is what's in my belly. What is in your belly, Lee? So I've, during this lockdown, I'm not a great chef. I've never been great. I worked in a kitchen for six years and <laughs> I still don't know how to cook <laughs> things. Um, but what is in my belly? What I made last night, and this is going to sound mad, but cornflake chicken. Okay, yeah. Well, right, nice. so a lot of people use Doritos to kind of coat their chicken or breadcrumbs or whatever. Mm-hmm. We decided to use cornflakes because we were in Paris one time and it came up on the menu in one of the re- restaurants. We went to Paris and we went to an Americanized restaurant because that's, that's what you do. I, <laughs> don't try the local cuisine. I always just stick to what you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we looked at the menu and it said cornflake chicken. We're like, we like, like cornflakes, we like chicken. Why not? <laughs> Let's give it a go. And when you fry it, it just goes so crispy. It's beautiful. It's, it, you can just imagine it to be in an American theme park or something. Mm-hmm. Um, so last night we got chicken breasts out of the butchers. What you do is you put a bit of flour on it, a bit of egg white with some milk in it, whisk, whisk an egg um, with milk, put that over it, put it back in the flour, um, and then add your conflicts, but you can also add different spices. So we have just been experimenting with like paprika, cajun, um, Chinese five spice, whatever, whatever you've got in the cupboard, uh, and it'll work and it'll taste brilliant. A bit um, of white pepper maybe in there, as well. white pepper and chicken, very good. We've thrown in some some of that salt and chili season that everyone's mm. went mad for recently. We've thrown that on it before as well, but I'd, I'd recommend making some of them. But if you want the recipe for them, just give us a message as well because. That's not as easy as the flatbreads, which I will <laughs> definitely be trying. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, I, you reminded me of a time I went to Paris with uh, my wife, and uh, we were at the time living in London, so we didn't have a, a hell of a lot of money when we were going to Paris, but we saved our money to go to a nice wee restaurant, which we did, uh, and we didn't go to an American restaurant. We went to the a kind yeah. of French restaurant, Lee, you know. Yeah. In France, really? In France, funnily <laughs> enough. Um, and I had uh, mussels, which is called Mules Marinere. And it's just a, a mussels and a kind of white wine sauce. Right, yeah. And it was my birthday kind of like trip. So I'd had a few glasses of very cheap wine because the wine in Paris is very cheap. And I'm fiddling with the mussels and I, it just I caught it the right way and it went flying across the restaurant. <laughs> And you could have literally sucked me into a black hole at that point, Lee. I was mortified and I could not get out of there fast enough. Nice meal. Aye. But uh, yeah, my dignity had literally been up the, up the Eiffel Tower somewhere. Aye, I'm yeah. back down. <laughs> Fine dining. That sounds great. That's um, so I think we've got a couple other topics you were looking at. Elon Musk's rocket launch yesterday. So, yeah, SpaceX launch uh, was uh, due to happen yesterday, about half nine uh, night. And my friend had been, like, kind of messaging about it all day. And apparently he'd been watching it all day. And he was getting really kind of excited. And I just kind of, as you did, I've seen stuff like this before. And it's, it's probably more interesting to watch paint dry because... It's literally, the, it's two guys sitting in their wee capsule with their heads pointed up in the air uh, and they're literally sitting there all day right. until launch and that's kind of what was going down. So uh, it was getting close. It was about half an hour before it and uh, my pal was like, yeah, they better get, they better get on with this or, or I'm throwing my telly out the window. And it was just probably about two minutes before launch and it got cancelled due to weather. So um, <laughs> he needs a new telly, I think, I maybe. Telly's not, <laughs> uh, not in the best shape. No, I was, I was pretty gutted about it as well. I, um, I've never really seen anything like it. And then Elon Musk sent his satellites up last month. Mm-hmm. We tried to watch that from the window. And as usual, Glasgow weather doesn't help with the visibility of that sort of thing in the sky. Um, so this thing they were saying the weather's perfect all across the UK to see this. You see it um, seven exactly seventeen minutes after the launch. I think it was supposed to be nine thirty three the launch. Uh-huh. Fifty. That's right. So yeah. I was all set for it, getting excited about it, um, and then I read an article, and it came out about three o'clock yesterday, so about six and a half hours before the launch, and it said uh, great visibility throughout the UK. 
but unfortunately for people in the southwest of Scotland, <laughs> you won't be able to see it. <laughs> I was like, what? How? <laughs> Every single time we yep. something sounds like it's going to be in Glasgow, it just it fails. So I, I've definitely given up in any sort of what would you call astrological phenomena because <laughs> it's always cloudy or something. Aye. But I think last night would have been one of the few occasions. It would have been. You reading that article, the skies were still pretty clear at that yeah, time. I actually went out a walk at that time um, yep. because it was still nice, um, and and the skies were like you say is so clear. So I was like, maybe this, maybe that article wasn't right. And then I got in and I checked it. My sister had texted me because she's a science teacher. Mm-hmm. She's, a, she's a geek pretty much, <laughs> so loves all that sort of stuff. Um, oh, I'm absolutely gutted. So I had to go right on the news and check it. And uh, like you mm-hmm. says, I think two minutes or something before mm-hmm. the launch. Um, but they're going to try it again on Saturday, I think. So Saturday at half three in the afternoon. Now, I'm not sure if you like, I don't know the reason why you were able to see it from the UK 20 minutes after launch. I don't know if it favoured that time of day. There's no mention of weather. You can see it, but you can actually, you can watch it online, obviously. I think it's something to maybe kind of check out. But if you're wanting to find out a few factoids about it, so the actual... It's the rocket itself that is made by SpaceX and the actual um, crew module is made by NASA. So the, right. if you think the crew module's on top and the rocket, yep. the ro- rocket's under it, uh, and uh, it can hold, the, the crew module can hold up to seven people. Um, now, the one thing, and they're thinking, oh, that's great and all that, and the, the other thing I found very interesting was that this one part of this rocket stage will return to Earth and be able to be reused right. for another launch. That was the big thing about this rocket, was the fact that it would be reusable, so it, it cut a lot of the costs out. Is that the NASA part? No, that's the, that's the SpaceX, SpaceX part. part. So the rocket's the SpaceX part. Right. The crew module will go up. Separate from the rocket, it'll go up, it'll join with the International Space Station, and that crew module will also return to Earth. Yeah. That'll be reusable as well. So I think there's one, I think there's three parts. That there's another rocket stage, and I don't think that part's reusable. But right. in, the, in the midst of all of this really interesting facts, and when I was watching it yesterday and watching these two men sitting in a chair all day, pushing buttons and talking to... Uh, ground control, um, I was thinking, how do they go to the toilet? They must be dying to go to the toilet. So they're uh, sitting there the full day? They're sitting there the full day, and I'm going, so, and like, as you do, I did have a look into this, right. and there's no really any clear answer to it. They've been right. a bit coy about it. They say that there is a toilet on board, but mm-hmm. the, thing, the thing that I was quite surprised at was, these two guys did not move most for the whole day. Ah, it's strange. But they go through rigorous training, don't they? It's like mental training if you want to be an astronaut. I suppose, yeah, but like, I mean... They've been trained to hold it in. <laughs> <laughs> I, let's see how long you can hold it in for, you know? Maybe they send them to, like, go see Revenant at the cinema four times in a row or something, and then maybe they send them to see an opera, like a three-hour opera. Or The Irishman on Netflix, which is about four hours as well. But it's more than that. It's more than that, Lee. It's probably a whole season's worth of television. Do you know what I mean? They're sitting there for... watch the boys. Well, that's probably what they're doing. You know, and they're sitting in the rocket like, uh, okay, get the Netflix on and all that sort of stuff. So there's no clear answer. So in in the absence of any hard facts, I'm going to go with space nappies. Space nappies. I was space nappies it is. Or what about the space suits? Have we removed them? Yep, a panel. Yep, the panel. They're both tight. Could that work? I don't know. I think I, we're getting into sketchy territory. Here. I, Actually, this is a family <laughs> show. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, so lunch is happening again at 3.30. Probably moral of the story. If you're thinking about my friend who's a telly doing, don't watch the whole build up to it. Just yeah. watch maybe Build-up. the last ten minutes. Yeah, I think that's good advice. Wonder if we can do something like a wee watch party or something with that through the complex. Quite possibly, yeah. yeah. Quite possibly. There's, I, I know that it'll be on like it's getting broadcast on YouTube and stuff like that. Yeah. So. 
Uh, because we're on at the weekends now anyway. We um, are on at the weekends, which is um, seamlessly leading on there. Like, like, it's done. By the way, it's not bad that. Um, and we've just been trying to kind of put on activities for you guys and try to chat to you as well, because we miss you. Um, we miss not seeing you at the complex or in school or wherever we, we see you out in the street with streetboys. Um, so we have been trying to get on quite a lot of our social media. Like you said, you guys have got a, a music group, group chat, which is brilliant. Um, we'll try to talk one to one sometimes with young people. We've had our Zoom Zoom chats. Um, I think there was Zoom bingo last night for our night. Quiz nights we've had, um, and then other activities. But it's it's been hard. We've been missing these because it's it's hard. This is something that we've never done before. Virtual youth work. We had to learn it basically as we went. Um, how have you found it, Chris? I I find it kind of it's it's doing video chats has never came naturally to me. So. Okay. Um, so it's been a kind of a learning curve from that point of view um, but as I said our music chats are quite active but it's just it's literally we're just in a kind of text messaging chat on Facebook um, yeah. Uh, so yeah it's 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 just not the same is it but we just have to keep going or we'll get there eventually Um it's funny that you mentioned about the Saturday thing there so I had to check something I was checking my calendar I'm on on the Saturday, so I might just start a watch party yeah. for the launch, and hopefully no tellies will no. come to any harm during or, it. Or we won't be able to have a section. <laughs> What's no. on my telly? What's on my telly? I don't have one anymore. It's right out the window. Right I, out the window. Be, what's, on, what's on my belly, I suppose? <laughs> I know, that's it. Um, no, I mean, I live in a ground floor flat, so the telly would probably be okay <laughs> if, I, if I gently placed it outside. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think it would survive the same. And we've got a construction site right next to us, so All right. I think it would be done in. And if it wasn't done in, I'm sure somebody would come along and fancy it. I'm having that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we're going to move on to some ideas of things that young people could do. Like, well, I was I was going to explain what I've been doing, kind of what a week looks like for me. I don't know if that would work if you wanted to do the same as well. So. I'll just run through what I've been mm-hmm. trying to fill my time up with. Then you can give it a go and then we can give some suggestions if you fancy that. Sure, yeah. So what, I've, what have I been doing? <laughs> I should have prepared <laughs> this, I think. Um, because of the good weather, I've actually been trying to exercise a bit more. Um, even if it's a walk, a walk's brilliant for you. It's it's good exercise for your body, but it's, I find it's also good for, you, for your mind, for your mental health as well. Um, going out a walk, putting your phones in, um, and just you can even just go around your block. It's, it's, if it's two minutes or if it's an hour you're out for, it doesn't matter. It's still getting you outside in the sun. Um, I've been trying to run a bit more. I've seen Mikey's been doing his 5Ks. Uh, yeah. and so has we Dino. They've been doing really well with their runs out in their communities. Um, so if you want to try that, you should challenge the two of them. Um, message into one of the pages and get them challenged. I bet, I bet you could beat their times. Um, I've been doing some workouts at home, um, trying to learn a wee bit more in the kitchen, <laughs> which my cornflake chicken's gone down well. Um, and also, I got my old keyboard from my mum's house. So I'm from my, like I'm staying with my girlfriend just now. Right, um, okay. So I started because my mum's shielding. Um, but I went down and I picked up my keyboard from there. So me and my girlfriend are trying to learn a wee bit of music. Um, I used to play music when I was younger. I played my keyboard and Good. I played clarinet. But I'm, I'm picking it up quite well because you can still kind of read the music. And and I'm playing something. My girlfriend's turning around like, what? How'd you do that? And I was like, <laughs> you know yourself. You're, you're much more advanced. But you, you never kind of lose it if you put an instrument down for a while and then pick it back up. It's hard to get into. Yeah. But then once you get into the swing of things, mm-hmm. um, you can do it again. Um, but so I think start, it's just like dusting the cobwebs off and stuff like that, really. Yeah. Uh, kind of like riding a bike almost. Do you I, know what I mean? Uh, um, yeah, sorry, you were saying. I, was, um, I, I think now that we're in phase one of listening to lockdown, I will be going, and I've not seen my sister since mm-hmm. the start of this. Okay. Um, so I think I'll go and visit her in a park or in her garden, socially distant. Right. Um, and see my wee nephews and things like that. So that's that'll be, nice, yeah. be quite nice um, doing things like that, something different. Mm-hmm. What about yourself? So I've probably got a, quite a 
different kind of living situation from yourself. So you live with your girlfriend. So I, I live with my wife and I've also got two relatively young kids, seven and four. So, and my wife is still working. So she's, okay. um, she's uh, working full time effectively Monday to Friday. So, um, so my chances for personal development are a wee bit uh, kind of more diminished. Yeah. You touched on the exercise thing, and I think you made a really good point about the exercise thing. I think that that is one of the main things to promoting good mental health. Yeah. Uh, I'm not saying it's the only thing, but it's really important. And unlike, obviously, Dean um, and uh, Mikey going out and doing 5K, that's not for everyone. It's certainly not for me. Um, I'm, I'll, I'll put that out there. But even like, I mean, I do this kind of like 10, 15 minute exercise video on YouTube and it's aimed at kids. But I mean, I'm still getting the benefit from it as well. I'm still working out. It's doing like star jumps and running on the spot and stuff like that. And uh, I try to do that kind of most days when I can. Brilliant. I do it every day, but I try to do it most days and I definitely notice a difference in myself. And I definitely notice a difference in my kids as well with regards to their kind of, just their overall kind of mood throughout the day. Yeah. Um, I think also putting th this out there for you guys as well, just getting through the day is an achievement yeah. under the current circumstances. This is unprecedented uh, world circumstances. That we're in. And if we can all just come out of this and be fairly unscathed then we've all you're all winners do you know right. what i mean, so you, I it's, mean it's, it's nice getting all the exercise learning this but don't put yourself under undue pressure yeah. either um do it if you feel like doing it if you're bored then why not try something yeah. uh, try and, and i would i would stress the exercise thing as the top of the list but if not if you're not able to for whatever reason don't don't beat yourself up about it no, no. you're getting you getting through the day is an achievement in the yeah. circumstances we're under right now. Um, yeah, I agree, hundred um, percent. It's as it almost sometimes hard to be motivated during this right now. I'm finding mm -hmm. um, some days you're waking up and you don't have a plan for the day, so you're. Sometimes, usually, you guys would be going to school or college, um, or at the weekends you would have plans to meet up with friends, but we've not got that now. So it is hard to be motivated, and I, I, I agree with what you're saying there, Chris. Um, don't beat yourself up if you, if you don't do anything all day. You've still done something, you've still managed to get through it, and you're still here, and you're still safe and healthy. Yep. Um, aye, that's perfect. Um, I had some suggestions on what the guys can do, if the young people can do mm -hmm. Go for it, why not? Running out, running out of things. So mm -hmm. um, I've taken some of these suggestions as well. You might realise okay. that I've stolen them. So I've got workouts. So it's good weather right now to go outside or even if, if I know a lot of people feel not embarrassed, but it's hard to go out in public and exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people feel the same. I've felt it at points. Um, you don't like to be out and be seen by other people while you're trying to exercise. So yeah. Um, I'm the same as you, Chris. I've been watching videos on YouTube, just doing it in the living room when no one, no one else is there, um, and it takes like 10, 15 minutes. You um, can learn to cook or bake. We, I think we, we, we've put up four or five recipes now. Um, Mikey's doing some recipes. Uh, we've got some baking recipes as well mm -hmm. um, that have been put up. You on can try my flatbreads. Aye, flatbreads. <laughs> flatbreads you will ever <laughs> taste. I bet there's going to be there'll be a shop at the end of this. Some of the young people will just be a business genius uh, and set up. There'll be a business tycoon and set up a, a flatbread store. Yeah, a flat stall and castle milk. That would. <laughs> <be. laughs> um, Stacy will be busy when the youth opens back up with flatbreads if they try them and they love them. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, I've got to learn the language. Now, okay. Yeah, I, that's a good one. I, I we had some young people in the remove one time, I don't know if you remember, and we'd done some French. Yep, I do remember that, yeah. And we were going back and forth with some French words that we remembered, and it was, once it got back into your head, what you'd learned kind of basics at school, mm -hmm. Yeah. you wanted to learn more, but I felt I wanted to learn more. Mm -hmm. um, and there is a great app called Duolingo, um, that's a free app, and you can learn different languages on that. Um, I've got learn instruments, um, so 
like I said, I've got my keyboard up now. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of my friends have picked up guitars mm -hmm. doing this. Um, and just see if you're going for five minutes and you're just learning one chord. It's yep. still um, And I've got like reading and movies. So I've got a, I don't know if you've seen those scratch posters. So they've got like, I think it's top 100 movies, mine's is. And I've got another one that's oh, top nice. <laughs> but I've not used that one. Um, okay. And you scratch off everything that you've seen. Right, uh, okay. No, I've not seen movies. That. And if you watch a classic movie or you really like it, you can recommend it to us and we'll put a recommendation out or you can write up a wee review if you're into, into writing or English or things like that and we can put it on our social medias. Uh, and then reading as well. I, I, this is one that I said I was going to do during lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> I've picked up, picked up a book since... <laughs> My girlfriend's got uh, To Kill a Mockingbird and Great Expectations. And I was like, right, I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read one of them. And then the sun comes out and I'm like, no, nah, maybe I'll just go a walk. <laughs> <laughs> it's much easier to do than, than sitting and reading. But if, if you enjoy that, it's a, it's a thing to pass the time as well, isn't it? It definitely is, yeah. definitely yeah. is. That, that's my list. I know it's a short list, sorry, but... If, mm -hmm. If you've got anything else that you can suggest to the young people? I think, like, as I said, th these are all really cool suggestions and feel free to try them, but don't beat up yourself up at the same time. Yeah. Um, getting out of your house is probably, it could be half the battle just going for a walk. That's, that's good enough, you know. Yeah. Uh, on the subject of learning instruments, uh, probably... If you've got a keyboard line about, that's a good one because keyboards don't tend to go out of tune. With guitars, it can be a bit difficult because sometimes uh, there's mechanical moving parts in guitars and sometimes they might fail you. So as long as you've got a guitar that you know will stay in tune or any other instrument that requires tune, keeps its tune well and stuff like that. Uh, there's lots of resources on YouTube. Yeah, again, go into YouTube and you have people who will teach you how to play these songs. You'll also have uh, Ultimate Guitar is a great resource as well for uh, finding chords for songs if you've already got a bit of established knowledge on the guitar. It's also got an app that you can download to your phone for Ultimate Guitar, and it's got a tuning app um, where you can use that to tune your guitar. Um, also, there's YouTube videos where it's just somebody playing each individual string of a guitar that's in tune and you can just copy that and make it sound like that as well. So these are all kind of wee hints that I've picked up over time yeah. um, with regards to, you know, being able to tune. I think that's the key thing. As long as you can keep your guitar or other stringed instrument in tune, then it's a lot easier then to then learn something for it to yeah. sound correct. You know? Aye. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Sounds great. Um, that is my we list that we mentioned that is the what yes yeah. so, um, so that'll if that's uh, I, I, what i'll probably do the now is go over just our social media links again if you want to get in contact with us uh, the email address is cyc youth team at gmail.com and just the social medias facebook kelly youth complex staff Twitter, Youth Complex CYC, Instagram, Youth underscore Complex, TikTok at Kelly Youth Complex. And we'll be posting the links to our YouTube on this, this episode, mainly on Facebook. And I don't know if you can post something like this on the other social medias. I'm not sure. I think, um, um, but primarily we'll be, it'll be on Facebook for now. Yeah, I think Twitter will be able to do it. Um, yeah. Instagram and TikTok are shorter videos, I think. Yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys next week as well, which I think we're going to go through the P7 programme, Chris. Okay, uh, cool. Hopefully Stacey can join us for. Well, maybe I have a wee guest spot for Stacey. That would be cool. Um, if she's yeah. available. If you um, guys want anything said or added, or you can suggest any topics for us at all, give us a message. Um, and we're also online out with the others that we're doing podcasts and things like that if you need any help or support with anything great we will see you next week guys until then take it easy see you later bye, bye.